So after posting my video last night about my knock talked, I hit a block. The first time I hit a block was with Digibyte. This time I hit it on Fractal Bitcoin. Digibyte payouts are a lot less, but Fractal Bitcoin is going to be a little bit more with about maybe four and a half to five times higher difficulty level. If you don't know what this is, this is four BitX Gammas, BitX Gamma 601s, running off of a power supply with one 12 gauge wire out. I have everything organized here for power distribution. And yeah, so I posted that video about this at around 1.30. The video got rendered and posted to YouTube. And at around 2 a.m., 30, 45 minutes later, I hit a block. I'll show you on the Swarm OS here. Right there, block found. I hit a best difficulty of 6.49 Gs, and the difficulty level is 5.16 Gs. So I went over by about 1 G. It's only been on for 11 hours. Um, I did turn down the overclocking just because it was late at night. I didn't feel like messing with the rest of the machines. And yeah, all four are running on stock over uh, stock settings and uh, hit a block, 16.2 watts. The funny thing is I have these three Nerd QX++, plus pluses, although, although these did get um, pretty decent difficulties. This one got 21.36G, 1.4G, and 897 million. For some reason, these ones seem to be hitting blocks at a, a higher difficulty level. Um, so far, I have not hit any blocks with these yet, but I mean, these are mining Bitcoin Cash, so it's not really fair because the difficulty level is a hot, lot higher on Bitcoin Cash. I think it's like 8900 900 Gs. But the Bitax Gamma 601s, you know, it's just purely luck, but I, I hit the block on it. So the payout on this, so if we click on the Swarm feature, you'll see, if you haven't seen it yet, raining confetti. Today is your lucky day. Your device has found a block. And you can see 1.05 terahashes per second, the efficiency 14.93 joules. I've only done 21 shares. All time best on this device is a 6.49G. All stock settings. And if we go into Uniscan, well, actually, first let's go to Cryptex. You can see here I had nine uh, miners working. This one usually is not that accurate. This, the six hour one, tends to be more accurate 21.71 terahashes per second. Unconfirmed balance is zero. And there we go 24.627 fractal BTC after the fees. Payout is $10.39. I mean, you guys gotta admit, I know people say, you know, lottery mining is a waste, but hey, $10.36 payout for something that only uses 16 watts. I'm in California, my electricity rate is probably higher than anybody in the whole US. During summertime, I'm paying like 53 cents a kilowatt hour. Right now it's winter time off peak, I'm still paying 30.8 cents. Um, you know, I have solar and battery backup and stuff, which help mitigate a lot of that cost. But yeah, man, solo mining is where it's at. It's super fun, it's a really cool hobby. We'll go into uh, Uniscan here for Fractal Bitcoin. That is my block right there. There is 980 transactions in this block. But I noticed the Fractal Bitcoin usually doesn't have a lot of transactions in it, but some for some reason mine hit 980, which is really awesome. And if we look at some statistics here, so I hit it eight hours ago at 2.14 a.m. 980 transactions, you can see pool, oh, pool fee, total fees Wow, they actually barely took anything for the fees. That's really cool. I'm not sure how many, how much you get paid for the transaction fees. I imagine it's not a lot. Um, I'm thinking it's 0 0.002 fractal Bitcoin. And in terms of the payment, I have not received the payment yet. I was wondering what was going on. But when you go back to Cryptex and you click on payouts, there's a yellow message here. It says payouts will only be processed once per day. 
at 6. Uh, I don't know if that's military time, but I did some research. UTC plus 0 converted to Pacific time zone is going to be 10 p.m. So this payout will be sent out at 10 a. I'm sorry, 10 p.m. to arrive to my Unisat wallet um, tonight. Ten dollars thirty nine cents. This will show you the block information here. You can adjust your payout threshold if you want here. But yeah, overall, pretty exciting, pretty cool. When you wake up and a block is found, and you see the raining confetti and how you get this message to go away from your axe os and from this device here is you just need to restart it with the nerd q axe plus pluses you just hit this top button and then it'll reset it but with the bit axes all we have to do is press restart 6.49 g's the current difficulty for fractal bitcoin is like 5.19 so i went over by like one and a half g's the device is restarting, so if we hit another block, we will know. But yeah, I'll just give you guys one more quick overlook at what this device looks like. Overclocked, um, it can hit 8 terahashes as we were testing it out last night. It's upgraded with Noctua fans. 4 Noctua fans, the Pi 5 ice coolers, and a 120mm Noctua fan here blowing air out so you can keep the backside cold, especially... For overclocking, I have a fan control button on the or knob on the bottom where I can increase the air speed for extra cooling. Everything comes out through one cable here just to keep it nice compact. It's called a knock dock because it has it's you know knock to a themed and uh, I can push it to eight tera hash. But yeah, man, these bit axe gammas are awesome. This is my second block I hit. When I hit more blocks, I'll definitely be posting it in my block found playlist. You guys can um, track it and follow along. And yeah, as much as people say lottery mining is a waste, honestly, it's not. First of all, it's a hobby. If you have decent electricity rates or solar, or even if not, 16 you know, to 20 watts, one of these is not bad. I recommend everybody just run one. You know, if you don't want to, you know, watch it, you know, or keep an eye on it, just have it mine Bitcoin. You never know. There are people who hit um, Bitcoin blocks with these smaller devices. But at the end of the day, it's not all about making a profit. It's just, it's a hobby. It's fun. And yeah, it's something you can get into. Monitor, keep an eye on, tweak, overclock, buy upgrades for. And yeah, they're, you know, for like $104, you can buy one of these on Amazon you know, prime shipping next day to your house. It's not going to come exactly like this. It'll come um, in a stock form with one of these units in a case. You can see one of my first videos. I did a review of the DTV Electronics um, Bitax Gamma 601s. I really like them. They have these standoffs here for the screen, which a lot of them don't. Um, like these cheaper ones, they just sit here. Uh, the camera, they'll just sit there on top. If you, you know, move it around, the screen can shut off. Or the pins can get bent, and yeah, quality. There is different um, levels of quality with these things. I found that, that DTV ones are really excellent quality. Also, the connectors on the bottom are compatible with the Noctua fans, so you're not going to need to like do any soldering, you know, crimping or wire cutting or modifying. But everything overall is working good. Really awesome to say that I hit my second block. You know, the first one, the difficulty level for Digibyte is like one-fifth, I believe, the difficulty of um, Fractal Bitcoin. But, you know, the payout is, you know, like eight times as much. So, yeah, Fractal Bitcoin so far, pretty cool. Really awesome that I hit a block. And, yeah, can't wait till I hit another block. If you guys are interested in printing out this design... Um, this is not my original design, but I did modify it with all these channels and this hole and, you know, everything. Um, if you go back to my original video explaining what this is, I'm going to post the 3D files. I need to make a couple of more tweaks, um, just kind of like on these edges and stuff. I'll post it, so if you guys want to print it, you can. There is some time involved in getting this set up, but in my opinion, it's well worth it because... It's just such a small footprint. You have one wire coming out, going into here. If if it wasn't set up in this way, I would have 
four cables, one for each bit ax plus the fan cable. I used to have the a fan cable plugged into this USB uh, uh, power port right there, which, which has made everything a complete mess. But as you can see, everything is looking super clean right now. And yeah, it's a really awesome hobby. I recommend anybody to get into it. If you have any questions, let me know. Peace.